Hi, and welcome to your Product Zomboid Apocalypse Series, Month 2, Day 23. So yesterday, we got to Level 3 Mechanics. We were going through the vehicles, trying to figure out what uh, new things we could uninstall and reinstall. And it turned out that uh, uninstalling and reinstalling the seats in the vehicles gave a lot of experience. So we focused on doing the seats and then all the other things we do. Except that the uh, tires didn't seem to give too much EXP, so we stopped doing that. But we got to level 3 mechanics in like a no time at all. We didn't even have to like go through all the vehicles. We didn't even like go through half of the vehicles that we had. So mechanics, uh, you can level it up pretty quick if you're just sitting there uninstalling and reinstalling stuff all day. So now that gives us the ability to open the windows. Yeah, now we have gained access to all of the locked vehicles that we have brought here. So hopefully we can go and remove the windows, gain access to them. See if they have the car keys in them. If they don't, then we can hotwire them. And then we can actually get uh, all those vehicles that we brought that we couldn't drive before. Maybe we'll be able to drive them. As well, we eventually wanted to work right to the VHS store and search houses for the uh, scaling VHS tapes and a TV. So that we can rewatch the life and living on VHS to gain more experience and get our carpentry plus cooking plus other skills up a bit more. Because eventually we want to get level 7 carpentry. And actually, I believe, if even if we get to, like, level 5 carpentry, we might even be able to make a bookshelf. So we can make, uh, replace these bookshelves. Because we just have those bookshelves that just hold, like, 19 books, that's it. And if we could, uh, get our carpentry at level 5, we could build a bookshelf that could hold 52 inventory space of books. Uh, so we can level up our carpentry that upgrade our, uh, bookshelves. And it's such a relief looking at the fuel generator. It used to be like uh, 80%, but now it's 90%. For some reason, that one popsicle fridge takes like more energy than one popsicle fridge plus one fridge plus all the lights and everything. It doesn't make sense. Because this goes from like 0 0.32 up to like 0 0.72 for some reason. I don't get it. <clears throat> oh, so like 250 the board. Why are we carrying too much? Oh, maybe the frying pad. Oh no, we're carrying too much because of all this thing. Are we, we're not hungry or something. Maybe you're supposed to throw some of these in our, uh, oh, because it's the ball peed hammer, maybe. What happened to the hammer? Did we equip it or something? Yeah, I must have equipped it. Because we have the hammer unequipped, maybe that's it. Actually, now we're all right. Maybe we just had the uh, crowbar unequipped or something. It's so dark up there until we actually get downstairs. Oh, so we got a fill of water bottle in the morning. Then we can unfavor oh, and unfavored it. Unfavored the frag pad. Then we can just put frag pad up here. And eventually, let's have like the frag pads, girl pads on that shelf. We do have a bunch of food here. I think that the freezers were full of things. And then the uh, fridge is just full of things we want to eat, maybe. There's like still a bunch of eggs and everything. So eventually, we're going to have to figure all this out here. Maybe we should just take like the bread and maybe eat that or something. Maybe we should start eating the bread, but then I guess we could slice it and we could make like sandwiches out of it. Yeah, think about that. Like, oh, that freezer's full, oh, this freezer's full, oh, this freezer's like full of things we're gonna eat. Then eventually, uh, we're gonna have to start cooking some more things here. I guess we take these. Do we take this for like food? Got some food here. They got everything that we need to work on the vehicle if we need it. Maybe we'll throw those in a backpack. Ah, uh, there we go. The house the condition of the crowbar. Crowbars should be good for a little bit. And then maybe we actually should just put the hammer on the, uh, attach the hammer to the belt and maybe just put the, uh, wrench in the backpack. Uh, tire pop, got everything there. How dark is it out here? It's pretty dark out here. Because we did want to go loot the VHS store and everything. So I wonder if we should just go bring some extra food, bring some extra water, go to the see if we can get the VHS store, maybe search some places for some uh, VHS skull tapes. I don't even know if we, uh, we might already have some VHS skull tapes. But I'm pretty sure this place doesn't have a TV, so regardless, we're going to have to go somewhere and pick up a TV for this place, because these guys don't think they have a TV here. So we're going to bring an extra water bottle. Where's your extra water bottle? This shelf here. 
Where's the water bottle? Oh, there's some VHS tapes. Oh, so we're looking for the scaling ones. Why is there no uh, water bottle? Like, we gotta find a place where we just, like, st I thought it was over here. Here's a water bottle. It's, like, empty. There's empty bottles here. Maybe it's just fill these, uh, empty bottles here. Then maybe you should put, like, uh, water bottles on the shelf. Just so if we're looking for water, it's right beside the water dispenser. We just have to come here and then just pick up the water bottles if we need them. The we're going to have to refill this thing. How much does it have? 96 out of 250. Let's just, uh, favorite this one. Let's throw these ones up here. That you guys refill that thing. Maybe we'll do it now. We'll take these uh, cooking pot with water here. Oh, let's go fill. Oh, we have to unpack that. We can't have them in your bag. Unpack the cooking pot with water. Then you right click and then we add water for the cooking pots. Then we just have this as like 25 each one. So we're going to be using all the cooking pots. Ah, we still need to add a bunch more. So we search for like sauce pads. I guess they'd be at the top or search of this one. We don't have any sauce pads in here. We don't know where all the sauce pad of water is. There's some cooking pots and some buckets. I wonder if we should eventually put the uh, buckets over at the farmhouse. So sauce pads have uh, 20, 20 units of water. So we're going to need to get some more water here. So as we uh, empty these, we're just going to put it back outside again. There's like one cooking pot. Uh, then we filled up the water dispensers. All we have to do is just uh, put these outside here. So I have to go out to the front, just put the cooking pots on the ground, put the sauce pads on the ground. Uh, then I'll just fill up with water and then we just have to come back when they're full. So we got that. We just need to get some food then. Got some extra water. Oh, we do. Oh, maybe we do. Maybe we do have some extra water. Maybe we should even bring like uh, four water bottles just in case we're out there for an extra day. And maybe get a new uh, crowbar. Attach the brand new crowbar to the back. So that we could get rid of this one. There's a cooking pot with water. We're gonna drop the cooking pot with water on the ground. And then it'll fill up when it rains. Oh, let's take that uh, watering can. Wherever the watering can was. I see the watering can. Watering can with water. Maybe we throw the watering can over here by the plants. Just in case you need to water them. Even though I haven't had to, it always rains enough. It seems to rain enough. Is there room in here for the watering can? Or did we put the watering can in here? So there we go. Yeah, we'll just bring like, uh, we'll start bringing like four water bottles with us. That way we don't have to worry about water at all. We got this one. We got like uh, four bottles of water. And then we just need to bring some extra food here. So we'll bring uh, this one. And maybe we'll just bring like one of these. Then we got some extra food. Extra food, got some extra water. I don't think that's like, extra food. That's not gonna last us too long. Extra foods, like bringing like four of them. So that's bringing like extra food. So there we go, we got extra food, we got extra water. Should be good to go. I guess I don't need these things. We get rid of the, uh, 
mechanic stuff because we're not doing mechanics. I think we're just going to loot places. I don't even think that we need the. Oh no, we we, sh we should always carry a tire pump with us. Uh, so maybe these will fit in here. Oh no, they don't. I guess we're just leaving the back of this truck here for now. There we go. It would be nice to get a new hammer, but I guess that's all right. Okay, so we got food, we got water. This thing's probably gassed up. Maybe we'll actually take like a, a gas can here. That's like unpacked it. Should have just took it to the inventory. Ah, uh, then we'll add gas to this with the gas can. This adds more fuel to it. Uh, then we're good to go. <laughs> I think we'll just check the tires before we go. Tires should be pretty good. Oh no, we need to blow up the tires a bit actually. This was like 34, this was 32, this was 34, this was 34. So it's down to 32 already. Like we're saying with the uh, mechanic skill, like we should go through and try to find like uh, better things to replace through. Like if we can find like a better uh, tire, we can replace this 40% tire with a better condition one. If in the uh, hood, we're gonna have to actually get better working to fix the hood. And if I have a better seat, we can replace the seat. The edges are like 41% uh, here. Yeah. Maybe just put some more fuel in it. So I think we're just going to the VHS store. Oh, we should have brought like empty gas cans with us. Maybe actually we will, I was thinking, right? See if we can bring empty gas cans with us, baby. There's a bunch of zombies down there. We might have to deal with them first. Since we're going near the gas station, we should just bring like empty gas cans that we have. We put the gas can on the zombie. Check here quick, then I head out. There's another empty gas can right here. That looks like maybe that's it. So we got some empty gas cans here. Maybe we'll go uh, refuel this thing before we go. Empty gas cats? Oh, they've heard got one that has stuff in it. Yep. Throw a tire puppy here. Oh, we should go take care of these zombies, probably. I think there's a few of them. There's a decent number of them. There is out here. We see that when we were driving the truck, there's like four of them. Two of them are coming, maybe? Or are they just walking? They were just walking. There's like four zombies here at least. All four of them are coming. Our fish should bring them to the vets. The vets. That'd be easier to fight them. Unless it's all because we're by it. us. So we just had them once if we can manage to hit them. I don't see if it's by us. We're just going to go here and see if we can get with the vets then. We got one. We got two, three, four. We got all four of them. I guess check for a digital watch. There's a digital watch here. 
That was it. Wonder if we should run here before we start driving. Or should we like drive the vehicle? Oh, then when we see zombies, we should just stop and get out and get them. <coughs> I'm not sure. But I guess we gotta head out. That's really like 50 minute video, so maybe by the time we get the VHS, or are probably gonna be tired or something. Let's just go get the vehicle then. We got those four zombies we see in the field that we're worried about. We don't have to worry about them anymore. A collection of vehicles here. This uh, is empty. Oh no, it's not empty. We should empty this vehicle before we go. Oh, we can't even hold that. We, need, we can't even hold that. What do we throw in here? Oh, we can throw the gas cans because we're coming back to get them. Oh, we're still carrying too much. Uh, so there we go. Should we just go throw us in here? I think we threw it in. So just put the fridges inside the fridges here. Then I guess we have like a uh, digital watch. I guess we'll uh, dismantle the digital watch. Then I put the electronics in here. I think we're ready to head out. Oh, we have a rake. Oh, I think we picked those up for the vehicle. That's right. Let's see the gas can. Then we have the empty gas cans in the back of the vehicle. We got everything dropped off here. We got the uh, truck is empty. It had like a half of a fridge in it, so it's like 40 inventory space just being taken up by that one fridge. So if we're going to the loot things, we uh, should empty the truck here. So there we go. Now that's done. We got some empty gas cans in there, and then we can head out. We blew up all the tires and everything. Uh, put some more gas in here. Uh, we should be ready to go here pretty soon. We're just gonna have to eat some food. Cause maybe we'll try eating half of this. So what's our weight like? Wait, it's over. Oh, weight's 80 and it's still going up. So our weight it was like 75 and it's already going on 80 already. So I should be sitting here all day just learning mechanics and just uh, cooking and organizing everything. Uh, bacon rib of the bard. There's actually no zombies here in the fort. Oh, there's one right there. So at least one zombie, that's it. There's these zombies here. So I guess we'll just go to the VHS store first. We need to get a TV for the place. We don't have a TV for the place. Now uh, we need to get the VHS skill bucks. We get both of those there. I don't know why it's taking, it's like so laggy for some reason. We're going to go like, all the way down here by the gas station. That's where the VHS store is. It's pretty much right beside the gas station. Why is the why is it going like two frames per second? Oh, there's those two vehicles that we could get it right out of gasoline. There isn't too many zombies on the road. Here's the pizza place. 
I think it's maybe because we haven't been here for a few days. It has to like, reload all this stuff, probably. Was that a trailer back there? Because we aren't looking for a trailer, too, actually. If, one of the things we're looking for is like a trailer to put on the back of this. Yeah, this thing. We'd have to like, get that out of there. Something like that. So if we get that trailer, I don't know how many zombies are coming for us. Hopefully there's not too many. Oh, there's somebody in the bush. There's gonna be a bunch of people coming from behind the fence. This is gonna be endless stream of zombies from behind the fence here, I think. So you have to do is go here, unhook this. So go V, unhook it. That could be go V to the Chevalier. Okay. And then we're gonna have to move it out of the way. All right, perfect. Should we just take this wreck back? Maybe we'll just take it back, because I don't like wrecks being out here and all of everything. I don't know how we're gonna get out of here though. But I guess on the way, we found the uh, trailer, we just found this uh, wreck. We're gonna bring the wreck back. We're gonna bring it back to the farmhouse here. Oh, this is like the worst way to go. Oh, there's a purple van. We wanna come back and get that purple van too. Cause you do wanna get these wrecks out of the way and off of the road. So they do get in the way. Because if, like, if we're like, uh, going down that road in the future, then we run into that rack and then we get trapped or something. <clears throat> now we basically want to get that uh, trailer there. That's like the number one thing we're looking for. I guess we'll just go this way. Oh, the vehicle stopped working. So here's the plaza. I wonder if that's like a strategy, you just get like a uh, wreck and they just tow a wreck behind you. They just kill all the zombies with the wreck, because the wreck doesn't matter anyways. They were just killed all the zombies with the wreck. There's a lot of zombies here for some reason. Here's the three story bells who are pretty close. There's the guy with the gun. I think he had a gun on his back. <laughs> so just drive forward, it's how we get to see. Yeah, yeah, this works good. You just uh, pull a wreck and then just like drive down the road and just pull a bunch of wrecks over here and then eventually all the zombies on the road will be dead. So it's actually 80 and it's going up.
Maybe we'll just put this vehicle here for right now. Maybe we'll start putting like wrecks over here or something. We got that out of the way. And they want to go back and see if we can get that uh, trailer. So it's 80 and it's going up. So all we're doing is just sitting in the truck all day, right? I guess we're going to be running around. Running around from zombies pretty soon here. If we make it to the VHS store there. Oh, there's a zombie right there. There's another one right there. Two zombies are proud. There's three right here. There's like four zombies right there on the road. Yeah, just have to make a way back over there. So it shouldn't be as late this time. I think maybe it's just because you haven't been here for a few days and then to load it. The plus, we just started the game back up again. So I had to like uh, reload this whole area again. Maybe that was it. I'm just going to go drive all the way back down there again. zombies there are so many of them we haven't hit a single zombie on the way though we're gonna go through them oh there we go we just hit one out There's a fireman outfit. I think we already have like three or four fireman outfits now. We might just have three of them. So the school bag. I wonder if it would be faster to take the other roads or easier because there's like so many zombies in the way here. If we go to like the starter area, yeah, it would just be going down roads. There's too many zombies, but I guess there's too many weaves and turns and everything. Here it's just like one big straight drive down there. There's a duffel bag zombie. Yeah, here's where the trailer was. She has to go hook her. Oh no, the vehicle stuck. There's a big group of zombies right there guarding the trailer now. To pick other attention, maybe just drive up here for a bit to get away from the trailer. We can uh, come back later and pick up the trailer on the way back. These guys would just be like on the main road here, maybe. Still, two guys guarding it for some reason. Why are those two still there? Or are these three? We'd have to back up into the trailer, wouldn't we? Should we just drive up here and then go to the VHS store? We'll go here, go to the VHS store. They're gonna be coming along the main roads. So maybe we could try to go back along the back roads. I'll see if there's those zombies out there that we're going to attract, actually, probably. 
So here's the VHS store. We're already here. Oh, we need to get to the back VHS store to see if there's no zombies anywhere. Six zombies. There's a big group up there now. There's one zombie here. Oh, there's a big group over there. So we're going to have to clear these zombies maybe before we get to the thing. Or we can just leave it in that big field down there. To the south. I think we're just going to go around here. See if there's like, anybody behind this place. Yeah, there's people over here. So we go get these guys. Uh, go over here. They get these guys out over here. They maybe leave it in the field. Then we'll come back, then we'll be able to get to the uh, movie store. And then see what uh, Skillet VHS tapes we get. And we can get a TV for the place. And then number ones are missing, we're gonna have to like search houses to find them. So they're gonna be following us for a while, so we can just like run over here. We got this, oh there's another trailer literally right there. So just gonna run here, then run behind here, then hope that there's no big group waiting to get us behind here. There's nobody here. One zombie down there at least. Three zombies there. And then there we go, I think we made it to the VHS store over here. Is anybody inside? There's somebody in there. But I'm not sure if anyone's followed us. Like, we don't want to go inside the VHS store that turns out somebody followed us here and then they corner us inside. Uh, is the door open? The back door's open. Now there's a zombie in there. The game froze. So I think we just have one zombie to deal with. Oh, oh there's two of them. There's actually two in there. It wasn't just one. So we got them, and then there's like another one in the front of the place. But I wonder if there's like more in the back that just didn't see us. There's two of them right there. So there's four in the back here. I don't see anyone yet, so it's just these two. Oh, here comes the second one. And then somebody is in the, fr uh, fr the front of the movie store. Someone's browsing the movie selection at the moment. Oh, and somebody's coming from down there. They didn't see us, but we would like to take out these five zombies before we try to go to the movie store. just the two, it's not the third one coming yet. Yeah. 
that. I think it's just whoever's in here. We need a place to rest. There's a place to rest here. We can just rest on the bench. Oh, they were hungry. We got to eat some food. So our weight's going up or 81 now. We have to worry about being like a overweight. We have to worry about being overweight now. So we're gonna try eating a quarter of this. I think we're supposed to eat half of it. Oh, he goes 46. Oh, but now we gotta worry about uh, being overweight. 81 going up. So let's throw these in the bag. Yeah, they healed their hunger. We're gonna start eating a quarter of the food at a time now. Should we get to go here to see if anybody else is in here? Doesn't look like there is. Oh, so we're just gonna have to go through the loot the TV store and then loot the actual TV as well. So let's go through, loot, and then see if we get a VHS tapes. There's the Cook Show Episode 3, Cook Show Episode 4. There's the Exposure Survival Show, uh, Woodcraft Episode 7. So we're looking for all those uh, Life and Living shows that we watched at the beginning of the series, then we can re-watch them again here, they get a more experience again. This is like the place where you get the most tapes, but you also find them inside the house. This is Woodcraft Episode 1. Then even here, you probably uh, won't find every single, every single episode. We've come here, we've only found like a one cooking episode. See, so if this is the entire VHS store, you won't have all the VHS tapes you're looking for. You're going to have to go search the houses for the rest of them. Oh, we'll just loot everything. Woodcraft episode 3. You can't loot all while you're walking. It's Cook Show Episode 7. Which I actually did find a good amount of them. Like I was saying, like, one time we came here, all we found was, like, one cooking episode of, like, three, three, uh, wood cutting episodes. That's it. Picture episode four. So you might have actually found a lot of them. Actually, I don't say you found a lot of the actual episodes we're looking for. So we did find a good amount of them. Woodcraft two, Woodcraft four. Sometimes though, you won't find any of them. Like you're saying, you come here. Like, let's go find the uh, scaling VHS tapes. So there's like not a single one here. Or there should be some of them. Should, I don't think it would ever be a not a single one. Let's do that. The TV takes ten inventory space. So we're gonna pick up the TV. Throw a TV in the bag. Oh, they're gonna have to go throw everything in the truck there. So there's more VHS tapes here too. Let's go see what's here. Throw everything in the back of the truck here. Uh, hopefully they don't see us. I don't think that they see us. So there's also more VHS tapes in the back. See, so search these shelves. You find more VHS tapes. And if you have room, there's like three metal shelves here as well. So you can take the uh, metal shelves back to your base. So 
So if you could take like at least take out one of the battle shells, I think they'd take up like twenty inventory space. Free to half, so it's gonna be like forty inventory space for a battle shell. Hopefully they're not here yet. Or hopefully they're just uh stayed watering up there. I guess the other thing we did yet is just the battle shells that I don't think anyone's out there. Try sneaking. We'll sneak. We'll crouch. See if they don't see us. Alright, so we should be able to go get the other battle shelf, baby, then. We can come here and get like three more battle shelves for the base. Oh, it's full. We gotta start throwing things in the passenger seat. How much? How short is it? Sixteen. Ah, I guess that's all right. Are we gonna have to like, carry one on our back or something? Maybe throw these in the passenger seat. We should be able to fit this last one inside the back of the vehicle. We were, we were able to, then we put those things in there. We had enough space, then we threw some things in there, I guess. So there we go. So I'd also go here and pick up that uh, shelf that the uh, TV was static on for some reason. Oh, it's just the table, that's it. What if it makes sense? How much does it take? Five inventory space. How much does this take? 7.5. Oh, a chance to break it. So I think we searched everything. We got all the VHS tapes we get. We got all the VHS tapes for this place. And the metal shelves. Alright, so we're gonna head out then. And that's completely filled up. That's filled up. And, uh, this is almost filled up here. So we should go get the uh, gas then. So we did get a decent amount of the tapes we're actually looking for. Uh, let's go fill up the gas cans then. And go fill up the uh, vehicle. Vehicle turned off. And maybe go pick up that trailer on the way back. That's right. There's the restaurant. Here's the diner. The uh, gas station should be right up here.
Oh, we have a table on us. 10.5 T. Alright, so you guys just have to take care of these two zombies, that's it. It. We'll just try to hurry up and do this then. That. Turn this out. Uh, fill the gas cans. I think it's a zombie. Another one down here. Let's try to uh, refuel the truck. Can we refuel from here? Yeah, refuel for the gas pump. Refuel for the gas pump. Let's see if we can throw this. Uh, Full gas cat is here. Oh, what did you do that? You started right away. Eh? So we've completely filled this up, right? Yeah, so let's turn this off. There's no room for that. What are we doing? Let's throw these in the uh, bag. We have lots of room in the bag here. 10.95. Alright, so we're not carrying too much now. Oh, so where exactly was that uh, trailer? It was by the uh, food store. It was behind the food store. Did we pass the food store or was the food store up here? Did we pass it or was it up here? I think we might have passed it. Let's check the map quick. The food store was right here. We passed it.
I just heard about that right there. That's what you got to get up there. What are these guys doing there, though? I want to go pick up that uh, blue trailer. That's what we're trying to do at the moment. So there's nobody here, so hopefully we can uh, hook this up. Hopefully we're close enough to hook it up. Oh, there's zombie right there. Oh, we're so close. We're so close that more zombies came. So we're gonna try uh, running around the place again, lure them around here, then see if there's no zombies. Big group here, but if there's nobody behind the place and nobody by the uh, blue trailer, then we go try to pick up the blue trailer over here. Uh, v, hook it up. And then we just have to leave. So we got the trailer. We leave this way or is we gonna hit the tree? Oh, we're able to leave this way. All right. So we got the trailer we were looking for. Then maybe we later we have to come back and get that purple van, but uh, we did a successful mission. We're looking to go to the VHS store to get the VHS tapes and to get the TV so we can watch some uh, scaling, scaling videos. And uh, like I was saying, sometimes you won't find like barely any scale tapes. You'll find like two cooking episodes or like two wood cutting episodes. Where is this time? I think we found a lot of them. And then we can just go home, watch the, uh, watch the Life of Living videos. And then just level up our cooking, or carpentry, or fishing, or foraging, or farming. Level those up a bit more. Try to get closer to a level 7 carpentry. 
They got like another uh, wreck out of the way down there. We got that like a uh, blue truck. I think you're supposed to like uh, dismantle the wrecks actually. It's like the wreck that we brought back to the farmhouse. We're gonna have to figure out how to uh, dismantle it, I think. Hit the guys with the crowd. Oh yeah, we got a full gas tank too. That's right, we went to the gas station. I think here's the path right here. We don't want to miss it. We don't want to drive too far ahead of it, Mr. Pater, but we just about did. That's actually a towed vehicle. Like, we're always towed vehicles through here, but this uh, trailer, it's just. I don't think it really adds any weight to it. So, you can drive like full speed with the trailer. They just pull this behind you, they get like 104 inventory space. Oh, so there we go. We got the VHS tapes, we got the TV, we got the trailer. And we got a new rack. There's zombie right there, you can barely see him. We're gonna have to deal with him. There's just one zombie here. Oh, we're like overly tired, so it's gonna be hard to get him because we're, we're gonna be barely doing any damage to him. So you see if we go to sleep, because we're like, we're very, we're very tired. We're very tired. Did fill up the gas cans there? I think we filled up the vehicle. Oh, throw these in the fridge. The other weight's 82 and it's going up. So now, now we're worrying about being overweight. Before we were worried about being like uh, underweight, but it's been so quick that we uh, have to worry about being uh, overweight now. It happens so quick. So your weight, it's just skyrocketing up. I just put the empty gas cans here for now, I guess. Or maybe the uh, completely filled up gas cans that we got. We got the crowbar equipped. Put this back on the belt. We got some water bottles. I don't think we need this many water bottles. I guess we will fill, fill the empty bottle here. It doesn't sound like there's any zombies here, so we're just gonna go to bed. Even though our character's a little bit hungry, we're not gonna worry about eat eggs or character. He needs to uh, lose some weight here pretty soon. It was, it, it, it's insane. It's like it wasn't even that long ago. It's like before, we're like, oh no, we're under, we're 75, our weight's going down. We have to start getting some weight here. But now it's like, uh, oh no, we're 82, we're going up. We have to start losing some weight. So how quickly that changes? We gained all that weight back so quick. It didn't even take long. So I think we got a lot of things done. Tomorrow we can actually watch the VHS tapes, then level up our skills and see which ones we got. Then we're going to have to go find the uh, ones that we didn't get, the ones that were missing at some point. 